Today finds me at um, Wrightsville Beach. This is Johnny Mercer Pier. It's a concrete pier. Um, but I think what's neat about this day is that this is um, January 5th, Sunday, if I got that date correct. And um, this is the day where all the storms are hitting across uh, the Midwest. And this is what we're getting here on the East Coast uh, in the South. Um, you can see the fog rolling in. Hopefully, I think this is so cool. The ocean is at high, well, not at high, high tide, but the, it's about, it's going out, I believe, um, from the way that the sand looks. High tide would be really up close to where I'm standing right now, is the high tide line. So it's going into low tide, or it's low tide coming in. Frankly, I just don't know, but whatever it is, it, it was high tide, now it looks like it's kind of a low tide, but my point is, is that even at low tide, this is kind of high, and uh, it's a little violent out there today. A lot of um, surfers were out earlier, and I don't see them anymore. I think that they've come in, and it's a, it's a wise thing to do. Um, I just thought I'd check this pier out today and see if there was anything out here. Um, it has turned a little cold since I first arrived, and um, it was 68, and now it's probably close to 60. So, uh, but anyway, um, I see one other metal detectorist out there, and uh, I'm going to scan the beach and see what I can find. This would be looking south, and the other direction was looking north. So south is um, where I'm from, is the next island down from Wrightsville Beach. And maybe, well, you probably can't see it from here, but there's a pier right down there, and it's also fogged in. Okay, we're going to have a little wrap-up here. Um, found some things uh, Sunday. Um, I went to the beach, and then there was a little park down from the beach uh, that I went to. It was a couple blocks away. Um, but what I found when I was looking through my bag was um, some things left from Tennessee. These are... Uh, a couple of square nails and um, a bullet casing and some aluminum. Found that in there. And of course, it's easy to tell the difference because the dirts are so different that I can um, tell that that's clay dirt on that, and whereas these things are sandy. So uh, I found all this at the park. Uh, my share of pop tabs. And I found uh, this piece of aluminum in the ground at the park. And I found this cap at the park. And then I found um, one, two, three, four, five. Five cents at the park and one cent here at the beach. You can see how corroded it is. I found a quarter at the park, two dimes, and those are all the clad. Those are all clad. Then I had this 1949 nickel. I could not believe that. I was very surprised by that because. Um, when I'm digging this stuff up, seeing how it was all, you know, early, I mean, recent dropped coins, I didn't even think that this would be a 1949. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then I got, like I said, I got this toy soldier on the beach. And I found the red pull tab and some little thing like this. But um, otherwise, I just had a good time. Being out there on the beach where the um, fog was rolling in and the ocean was loud, and it was pretty exciting out there that day. So that's the wrap up from yesterday's hunt on the beach and the little bit leftover I found in the bag from Tennessee. And with that, happy hunting. Uh, please like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and um, good luck and, and uh, have a nice evening. And everybody, try to. Stay warm and don't get too cold.